ladybug skills. Oh, yeah? Yep, yep, yep. Wow, you make a great looking ladybug. I know, look at my antennae. I see them, they're pretty cool. And look at these beautiful wings you have. I know. Wow, so were you thinking you wanted to work on the insect star? Yes, yes, can we do that? We can. Okay. So we need to listen to a book about insects, and I have a really fun book from Dr. Seuss about <gasps> insects. Ooh, do you want to uh, listen to it? Yes, I can't wait. All right, you ready? Here we go. Yes. All right, let's listen to the book. Louis, we're going to listen to the book. Listen to the book. Welcome to Sunshine Stories. Today we'll be reading On Beyond Bugs, all about insects, by Tish Rabe, illustrated by Aristides Ruiz. On Beyond Bugs. I'm the cat in the hat, and I'm glad that I found you. Right now, if you look, you'll see insects all around you. They live in the water, the earth, and the sky. Just wait and you'll soon see an insect go by. There are millions of them. I will show some to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Most insects you'll meet have hard shells and lay eggs. They have wings and can fly, and they all have six legs. This is the praying mantis, and this is the butterfly. This is the grasshopper, this is the ladybug, and this is the black ant. Spiders are not insects. This news couldn't wait. Instead of six legs, every spider has eight. If you look at an insect up close, you will see that its body is in parts, and each insect has three. First the head, then the thorax, and here at the end is the longest part, which is called the abdomen. And this insect is a cricket. Insects cannot see all the things that surround them. So they each have two feelers to touch what's around them. One, two. An insect has feelers on top of its head. Some look a lot like a thin piece of thread, while others look much more like feathers instead. We wish we had feelers, but we don't have any. You can also call feelers by this name, antennae. Watch an insect and see all the things that it does. Some can swim, jump, or crawl. This is the diving beetle, the dog flea, and the pipe vine caterpillar. Others chirp like the cricket, flash like the firefly, or buzz like the bumblebee. Birds and frogs look for insects in order to eat them, so insects work hard to make sure they don't meet them. Some, like this wasp, have bright colors that say, don't come near me, I'll sting you, so just stay away. This moth's wings are colored to look like the tree it's resting on, so that no one can see it. It's called the underwing moth. This spittle bug sits and he spits out a bubble. It's wet and it's cool and can save him from trouble. For when he's all covered in bubbly foam, if a hungry bird comes, it thinks nobody's home. Here's a riddle I learned from my mother. How's a skunk and a ladybug like one another? When danger is near, it's easy to tell. They suddenly give off a terrible smell. These busy insects are my friends, the ants. They like to eat seeds, other insects, and plants. Ants are so strong, they can lift things that weigh over 10 times their weight. And they do it all day. So if you were as strong as an ant, you would see, you could lift up 10 cats in tall hats easily. Watch these honeybees and I'm sure you'll agree that these bees are as busy as busy can be. Worker bees collect food and they keep the hive clean. They protect it from danger and wait on their queen. 
She must stay in one place. It is her job to lay dozens and dozens of eggs every day. When a bee has discovered where food can be found, she goes back to her friends and starts dancing around. First she wiggles, then waggles in circles. And so all the other bees know which direction to go. We can grow lots of flowers with help from the bees. They store dust from each flower in the back of their knees. This dust is called pollen. Next flower they find, when they land on it, they leave some pollen behind. This is called pollination, and it makes the new seeds that grow even more flowers, which everyone needs. Some insects I know can be unwanted guests. Fleas, flies, and mosquitoes can really be pests. Fleas live on cats, dogs, rats, hamsters, and mice. Their bite is quite itchy, which isn't too nice. But they're wonderful jumpers. Why, if we were fleas, we'd jump over a house and we'd do it with ease. Have you ever wondered why does a fly buzz? Well, it beats its wings fast, and each time that it does, its wings make a sound you can hear in your ear. And this sound lets you know that there's a fly flying near. Here's a fact about flies that we both thought was icky. They can walk upside down since their feet are so sticky. I don't think mosquitoes are very polite. When they're hungry, they land, and they sting when they bite. But it's only the female mosquitoes that do. Male mosquitoes will never come bothering you. Caterpillars do something you might think is strange. They start out as one thing, then one day they change. Some spin a small house on a branch just like this, and this home that they make is called a chrysalis. If you watch it, you'll see. When a few weeks go by, it turns into a beautiful new butterfly. Here's a quick fact that we both thought was neat. Butterflies can taste their food with their feet. On warm summer evenings, you may see the light of fireflies flashing off on in the night. They are like little tiny flashlights that float in the sky. And if you want to catch them, it's all right to try. Use a jar with a lid, watch them glimmer and glow, then open the jar up and let them all go. All day and all night, on the ground, in the air, insects are moving around everywhere. It's important for us to keep learning about them. The world that we know couldn't go on without them. The butterfly, ladybug, ant, and the bee make everything better for you and for me. The end. I love the cat in the hat and I learned so much about insects and bugs. Yeah, that was a really fun book. I thought it was really interesting that there are some bugs that make bubbles to hide. Yes, I've seen those. They're spit bugs. If you move the spit around a little bit, you can see the little green bug in there. Yeah? Yeah. Well, we need to come up with three things that we learned from this book or from a book about bugs. Um, so we need to come up with three things that we learned about bugs. Oh. So that's one thing that I learned was that there's spit bugs. I learned that the bug has, or the insects have three parts to their body. The head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Yeah. That's a good thing to have learned. What else do you remember learning? I thought it was interesting that an ant can carry 10 times its weight. Yes, that's a lot. That's an awful lot of, an awful lot to carry, yeah. So the next thing we need to do is we need to play an action game about insects. And <gasps> I thought we could go for a bug hunt. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, I can't wait. And we can figure out how many bugs we can find around our homes. So can we find ants or bees or caterpillars or dragonflies or ladybugs? What can we find around our homes for bugs? Oh, uh, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, um, let's see. 
I bet I can find the ant and the bee. And sometimes I see the dragonflies and we have grasshoppers that like to live on our, on our porch. Oh, and spiders, those are, oh, this will be fun. I can't wait. I bet we can find worms in my garden that I just planted. Um, ugh. Do you think the butterflies are out yet? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to go look and we'll find have to out. to look, yeah. Maybe I can leave some food out and attract the flies, and then I can check fly off my list. <laughs> leave it out outside. My mom will think that's a great idea. Yeah. Yep. Maybe. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so the last thing that we have to do for this star is we need to make a crab. <gasps> oh, crafts! I love crafts! Um, oh, does it involve glue? Do I get to play with glue? Oh, I love crafts with glue! Oh, I'm so excited! Oh, tell me, what are we gonna do? So, we're gonna make a butterfly out of paper and flowers. So, Whoa, we're gonna cut that out. pretty. Yeah, we're gonna cut out the butterfly. And then we're gonna glue petals and, and leaves and all those kind of things onto the wings to make it look really pretty. Oh, that does sound pretty. Doesn't that sound cool? Yes, I can't wait. So that's one option and I have one other option for you. Ooh, what is it? So the other option is we're gonna make craft tube insects. So you're gonna use um, a paper. Craft tube insects. Yeah, you're gonna use like a paper towel tube or a toilet paper tube. Oh, and we're oh, 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 that does sound like fun. Oh, oh, do I get to use googly eyes? Googly eyes are almost as much fun as glue. If you have them. So you're gonna use that tube and you're gonna decorate it to make a bee or a butterfly or any other insect you want. Um, with paper and um, chenille sticks and googly eyes if you have them or more construction paper if you don't and more glue if you don't. Uh -huh. Yeah, and you can make all sorts of cool insects like that. Oh, that does sound like fun. <gasps> oh, I can't wait. Yeah, so you can pick which one you want to do. Oh, what if I can't pick? What if I can't choose? What if I want to do both? Can I do both? You can do both if you want oh, to, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. That's a relief. All right. Should we go get started on that? Yes. Yes. Let's go. Can we go now? We can. Let me let's get started on this craft and oh, I can't wait. All right. Let's say goodbye. Okay. All right.